Welcome to day 17 of our Advent devotional series. Today, we look at the name, The Truth, found in John 14, 6. Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to day 17 of our Advent devotional series. I hope that you're all doing well today and that you're well and truly in the festive spirit by now as we count down these last few days to Christmas. Well, today we're going to be looking at one of the names that Jesus gives himself in John chapter 14, verse 6. And this is a really famous verse in the Bible. I'm sure many of you will be familiar with it. It says this, Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Well, it's such a recognisable verse and it, we could spend probably until Christmas Day next year unpacking it. But we're just going to think about one of the statements that Jesus makes in that verse. And that is, I am the truth. I want you to think about the state that our world is in right now and what the word truth counts for in our day and age. Well, truth has become a rare and valuable commodity and it's almost like a treasure. It feels like it, to find the truth, we have to embark on this gruelling treasure hunt, uh, searching and digging and fake news and conspiracy theories are coming along to throw us off the track and, and block our way. Facts and figures previously accepted as evidence of the truth are twisted and disputed and ultimately discarded by those who don't want to acknowledge it. And it leaves us in limbo, not knowing who to trust and not knowing what to believe. Well, one of the synonyms for truth is certainty. And I think that's something that over the last 18 months we've all craved. It's human nature to long for certainty, especially in those big areas of our life. Certainty over our financial future. Certainty that our relationships won't fail. Certainty that our jobs will be there tomorrow. Certainty that our health and the health of our loved ones will last. Well, in John 14, verse 6, Jesus gives us certainty that through him we can experience relationship with God and the promise of eternal life. Now, earlier on in the chapter, Jesus has been explaining to his disciples that he'll be leaving them to join God, his father, in heaven to prepare a place for them. One of Jesus' disciples asked Jesus, Lord, how can we know the way? And that's what Jesus is responding to in our passage today. When he says, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Now we can trust Jesus' promises because he is the truth. It validates everything that he says. The good news for us today is that if we're followers of him, we have certainty in our future, the promise of eternal life. Let me pray. Father, thank you for your son, Jesus. Thank you that through him, we have a way to you, a way to eternal life, a certainty in our uncertain lives. Amen. We hope you enjoyed today's devotional. Tune in tomorrow for more in our Advent series.